Michelle and I have mentioned many times in previous videos that sometimes exclusions are just as important as the targeting you're using within your campaigns. So we are excited when TikTok announced exclusion lists are now available in all accounts. We'll show you where to find this feature to download the template. You can either upload a feed or manually start excluding certain channels or videos. This will help you prevent your content from showing up alongside any sort of content that may not be brand suitable. So let's dive in. To implement exclusion lists in TikTok Ads Manager, you need to go to the Brand Safety Hub. To find it, go to your top navigation, look at Tools, then under the Settings column, we see Brand Safety Hub. I really just want to talk about the exclusion list, but it's also good to understand what you can do within the Brand Safety Hub. As for advertising objectives and what's covered, I can look at adding all before we just had a few objectives that were covered. So we do have some controls over that to know that this is applying at the account level, no matter what objectives you have selected. Next, we see inventory filters. And if you're running Google ads, this is going to look familiar. We have a video about Google ads content suitability. You can check that video on the top of the screen right now, but there's different limit levels according to the placements on where you want your TikTok ads to appear. Limit is going to be the most restrictive, standard, normal reach as it says. And then if you're not as strict with your brand guidelines, you're more open to where ads can appear you can choose expanded inventory. For now, I'll leave things as standard. Next, under additional controls, you'll see category exclusions. Not a lot of options here. Add those if you like. Then you'll see vertical sensitivity. So like for the first example with beauty, you're not blocking out being shown next to any beauty content, just controversial or negative beauty related content. The food one, you wouldn't exclude all food videos because there's a lot of them on TikTok. That's definitely part of my algorithm, but unhealthy food behaviors, body shaming, those sort of things. And there's a few options here as you can scroll down. If any of them apply to your industry, mark it here. But then the newest feature to the Brand Safety Hub is going to be exclusion lists. There are two type of lists that are available and they're gonna be within the same list feed. So if I click add to list, we see a section pop here. The first thing I'm gonna do is just download the template. Okay, it automatically downloaded to the screen. Let me open it. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. When we downloaded it, the instruction text was yellow. Very hard to read. So I'm just gonna highlight this. Let's change the text color. All right, now we can understand. For the most part, in two different columns, we see profile exclusions and video exclusions. The first one, it's gonna be the most common one I'm assuming, and that is profile exclusions. Let me open up another tab. And already, I just went to the search bar, typed in news. This is an easy one to consider blocking especially with everything that's going on with politics. A lot of division going around. A lot of brands don't want to be associated with any controversial news item, even if it's not intended. You're not purposely targeting news, but if it shows up in someone's feed, but you're targeting that user based upon different interests, there can be an unintended consequence psychologically of having your ad showing up when someone is scrolling after an organic news video view. So if you don't want your content to be shown before or after someone's engaging with this type of content, you can block out entire channels or profiles within this feed. So to do that, we have options here. Normally I would just open up a bunch of tabs. I'll just do for a couple. Let's do one, two, three. Did I just skip one? Yes, I did. Oh, well, that's okay. But here's the part that you will need to get in the feed. That's going to be their username. TikTok does not want you to include the at symbol. So this will just be CBS News, open up my feed, paste it in here, and then I would just continue to paste any other username I would want to exclude. Let me just grab these other two, we'll jump ahead, and it'll be done. Easy enough to do, pretty self-explanatory. But next we see the other option for video exclusions. Maybe you like to target specific channels, but as you're scrolling, you see a couple videos on a channel that really don't make you feel good. You wouldn't want your ads to be appearing alongside or close to content similar to those specific videos. You don't have to block out an entire username or profile. You can just block out specific videos. Here's just one example I can think of. Maybe you're okay targeting anyone interested in movies or the entertainment industry but maybe you're not a fan of horror or it's just the audience you don't want to go after. I see a lot of Star Wars on here, which is making me very happy, but maybe there's something that you see is potentially too gory, too scary. Here we go, finally found an example, 28 years later. I can click on this specific TikTok video, pause it right now, and then you see within the URL this long number string right here. This is the part you would need to copy. Let's go back to our feed, and then we would paste it in. Oh, definitely don't want that, so let's reformat this. I just reformatted it as text. 
Even when I did it to a number, I was doing some weird rounding stuff within Excel. Easy enough just to leave it as is. But as you go on and continue to find other videos that you would want to exclude from particular channels or another possible scenario, maybe there's some new trend that's going on. And either the trend is just stupid or it just doesn't even apply to your brand or your marketing efforts. You can just search for all the videos that are the most popular from that specific trend, pull in the video ID numbers, paste them all in here, save it to your feed, and then you can upload it. And speaking of uploading, let's do this right now. So make sure that you have this template saved. Let's head back to the Brand Safety Hub. Luckily, I still have this page open. I'll choose the file. There it's uploaded, and I can add it. And there we see there are the profiles, the three that I added. And for the videos, there's the one for the movie trailer from the Rotten Tomatoes channel. Easy enough to do. For now, since this is a newer feature, I fully expect this to expand, but we're still on the video exclusion list tab. I have one video here, and that's one out of 2,000 I'm allowed to add. For videos, if we go to profiles, AKA TikTok channels, I have three out of only 500. Just notice that, so just understand that. But you can go up, add to a list, and if you've either updated your file list, you can choose another file and re-upload but you might've seen this earlier, you can also manually enter profile and videos. And the fact that you can add multiple at a time, this might make it easier than actually using a downloadable feed. But you would add in the ones that you want here, click add, I'm gonna click cancel, and hopefully that helps you better meet your brand safety goals, not necessarily who you're advertising to, but which placements you're advertising alongside. Another thing to note, we are on the profiles tab, profiles on your list will be excluded from profile feed ad placements only. So not gonna be everything. And moving over to videos, videos are only excluded from brand safety eligible placements. That kind of goes to a lot of the things talked about earlier in the video, but every little bit helps. And remember any change that you make here, it's not gonna be automatic. Make sure you go to the bottom and click save. Understand these are all account level settings. As I pop open just an example ad group, scrolling down to exclusions, these exclusions are for audiences. Your profile and video exclusion list will not show up here to add whenever you want to include it only in specific ad groups. It's at the account level or nothing at all. But that's how easy it is to create exclusion list feeds, upload them to your account, and have them apply to every campaign. Fully expect this feature to expand and to apply to more campaign types. But for now, this is what we get. If you have any other questions, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.